begin my uh, demonstration of the armillary sphere that we are attempting to simulate. Um, so the first thing you may notice is that there is some ambient music in the background. This is just so that the simulation in and of itself feels less mechanical. Um, here you can see a clock which you can manipulate. Um, but first things first, let's locate where the sun is. And it should be right over there. And we can manipulate the clock. Um, this is a 24 hour clock. In this case, we'll just be manipulating the hour. Uh, let's just actually go back to one o'clock. And if we turn back, we see that slightly turned to the right. And now at 3 p.m., it should have, it's turned even more so. So it started, um, so it's past its zenith at this point. Um, alongside this you can change the latitude and the date as well so in this case let's increase the latitude if I recall correctly uh, Oxford's latitude is about 51 degrees now let's set the date and one thing you'll notice that when I'm setting the date you rotate the armillary sphere which is what you do with the real armillary sphere as well um, this action will help convey um, what you do with the real armillary sphere and similarly when you set the latitude, uh, you can see that um, the latitude of the armillary sphere itself increases and decreases accordingly. Here we have a button that allows us to simulate an entire day within a minute. So if you look back, we can see the sun setting. And we can now see the stars um, above us. And the reason why they seem to be accelerating is because, uh, well, they're not. Uh, the clock itself increments at a certain rate and we can simulate this entire day. So in addition to manipulating the latitude and the date itself, we can also have a look at how uh, you'd use this if you were a naive user. You can click on tutorial, you air tap on tutorial, and to your left uh, you can see a video created by the History of Science Museum themselves um, how to actually uh, how a real armillary sphere would be manipulated the universe can seem like an one thing you may notice is that um, when this plays the ambient music also cuts out the reason being that obviously you want to hear uh, the professor's voice more clearly in this case I'll just uh, close the tutorial uh, you do this by ear tapping once more and you'll see that the um, that the music starts once more. So we'll just give it a minute and see see if we can find the sun. And there it is. And it should stop at 3 p.m., which is when we start the simulation. Yep. So now we can also resize and move the armillary sphere. So you air tap on the armillary sphere and then you can drag it to wherever you please by pinching uh, one of the vertices and dragging you can rescale the armillary sphere and by pinching one of the midpoints you can rotate the armillary sphere as you deem fit the idea behind this is that if you are not able to walk for whatever reason or you are less able to, it, you can still manipulate the armillary sphere um, as you see fit and you can have a 360 view um, of the armillary sphere. Thank you for your time.